But you mentioned how this isn't a rebuild. What's different about a rebuild? What are you looking forward to about the fact that you don't have to sort of start from scratch on this one? Uh, the fact that it's a good team. I mean, we're, you know, sometimes you take a job and you take a job because the you know the team was one and eleven, and and suddenly it's a disaster. But I don't see that here. You know, the core values are in place to be a good team. The team, like I said, I watched. I watched this team closely from a di uh, from a distance, I should say. Go from five and seven to seven and six and destroy Iowa in the bowl last year. You know, to a nine and four team winning their last six games this year. To a team that's got a tremendous amount of confidence. That I think that was really appealing to me. And so, um, you know, to me, it's. I think the thing that you got to come in, a lot of these players have had success. These coaches have great pride and they're really good coaches. So to come in and say, well, what you're doing isn't good enough, that's not correct. We j I just can be a piece of that puzzle and help maybe take it to the next level from nine wins to 10 wins or 11 wins to, to Atlanta in the first Saturday in December. You know, and that's, I understand that's what the expectations are and I'm excited about that. That's really part of the reason and the appeal to me. Bob, do you normally sit in the press box or are you on the sideline? I've always sat in the press box, but that's, again, with this staff, that's to be determined because I think uh, the previous defense coordinator was on the sideline, and I, that was something we discussed. We just, I mean, we literally discussed everything from how we practiced to sideline organization, just like you talked about, and it's, it's fluid at this particular time. I think like almost like you do with your players, you try to put your players in the best position to be successful. I want to put the coaches and staff in the best position to be successful. I think in the past, Willie had been in the box and the other coaches have been on the field, and that's something that's still to be determined. And, you know, I'm a veteran. I'm a big boy. I can figure this thing out from the field and in the box. If you have someone in the box that you can trust, uh, certainly you see better, and it's a little more sterile environment in the box. But the advantage of being on the field is you get to see, look the guys in the eye. You get to make the adjustments. There's a, with tempo teams, sometimes there's a little less in the communication process as well. Make sure your defense staff's best when the game's on the line. How much was that brought up during the interview process? I was being blew a few leads last year. And how do you get? The, how do you make sure that happens? Make sure they find the best leads. I mean, I was, I'm a, I'm aware of the, you know, the, this is. I mean, let's. Let's look at it from a positive perspective. This team was nine and four and lost four games by a total of 17 points. And two of the teams they lost to were playoff teams. That's a, this is a pretty. There's pretty good potential here. Um, you know, you know. So one of the things that we've done. It was not brought up on the uh, interview process. But one of the things that I talked about with uh, the coaches and we talked about was rotating guys, playing guys early, having the confidence to play guys. So 